I spotted this little wooden wagon put out for the trash in a nearby neighborhood. I thought it deserved a better faith than the landfill, so I tossed it in the back of the car. I believe this wagon is a radio flyer town and country model. It's pretty rough. The bed fits into slots in the sides of the bed and it's completely missing. Someone took a piece of plywood and created a makeshift bed and the sides of the bed just sit on top of it without being attached at all. The disassembly begins, starting with the wheels. The wheels are attached with push nuts. Push nuts are designed for one-time use and they're really difficult to get off. Removing these push nuts is really frustrating. I meant to do that. This wheel has definitely seen better days. The wagon bed sides, front and back are held together with two threaded rods. Once the rods are removed, the pieces just come apart. Here I'm removing the side brackets. These brackets are used to hold the wagon side panels. I'm starting the process of cleaning up the hardware. Here the smaller pieces are going into the vinegar bath for a few days to remove rust. Larger pieces are being cleaned with the wire wheel.
After cleaning with the wire wheel, the parts are ready for the primer. Work on the wooden parts now begins. There's some kind of glitter embedded in this piece. It's a real pain to get out. This piece had some glue on it. I'm trying to get it off with a heat gun. Here I'm working with the scraper to try to get as much of the paint and crud off as I can. I'm going to work with the orbital palm sander here to try to get as much of the old paint off as possible. The bed of the wagon fits in slots in the side pieces. The old one was completely missing, so I'm making a new one. I'm using my no frills, no cost router table to make these rabbit cuts with. If you're interested, you can see how I made this in another of my videos. The new wagon bed slides neatly into the slots in the side pieces. I'm checking the wagon bed here to make sure that it's square. Now I'm tacking in the end pieces to hold the wagon bed in. I'm starting to mount the hardware to the new wagon bed. The repainted brackets go on next. These wheels just aren't going to work. Maybe if I hide them, they'll go away.
This octagonal shank screwdriver has some mystical properties. So at this point, the hardware and the wheels are mounted to the bed. The wooden parts of the bed have received some medium walnut stain and a couple of coats of polyacrylic. I made some stickers for the side panels on photo paper. They're not perfect, but they're reasonably close. The side panels are now sporting red mahogany stain, a couple of coats of polyacrylic, and some new stickers. So here's the finished product. I think the little wagon turned out pretty well. Thanks for watching.